This episode is brought to you in partnership with Choose Chicago. Chicago and no. Hey. Hey. Welcome back to another uh, dope episode, 77 Flavors of Chicago. <laughs> and this is not yeah, the start. Buddy. This is not the start. I know I, even though I started out like a start. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I I went into my uh, I went into after you know the the intro plays I went into that little mode so oh, my, my bad MCSC. everybody pump fake uh, <laughs> Tommy's like what the hell <laughs> uh, how, just, do you, how do you feel about Dario? I don't pump even fake. know what's going on. Do you have a, do you have a, a riddle today? A riddle? Wow. <laughs> okay, Tommy. So uh, since last time you've been here, we do trivia before oh, yeah. before we we do trivia, not riddles. Uh, so. Excuse her. Uh, but we have a trivia question that we do before um, we start the episode. Uh, just get, some, get people some uh, time to get their brain working here. And it's fun Chicago trivia. Here, here. Are you ready? Uh, here's today's trivia question. Navy Pier, Chicago's number one tourist attraction. When the, Na- when the U.S. Navy moved out after World War II, who moved into the space? Multiple choice. A, University of Chicago, B, Loyola University, or C, University of Illinois. Don't say the answer if you know it. However, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to it after the break. Any, any, any quick uh, thought process? Get your thought process going. I know you usually, you usually deduce pretty well. I usually. <laughs> usually. <laughs> I usually. Usually. Um, but we're ready. 77 Flavors of Chicago right now. This is the podcast where we visit all 77 of Chicago's historic neighborhoods and discuss their heritage and taste the amazing food. And if you know anything about us, we love two things, food and Chicago. So I can't wait to burn this gas money. You ready? Let's get it. This is the 77 Flavors of Chicago, the podcast. Hey, now I can do my intro. (laughs) I can do my normal intro. Uh, y'all, welcome back to the podcast. It's uh, been a minute. It, it, you never know. Somebody probably paused it. You know what I'm saying? Went to the bathroom, got some no, coffee, got some stuff. Oh, it's been a minute. Been, been, you, you mean uh, it's been an urban minute? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that's what you meant. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's racist. I uh, no, it's not. It's, Tommy, you can't laugh at that. Uh, <laughs> as he was drinking his. <laughs> Uh, y'all, uh, Dario, Sarah, and we are here with today's guest. Uh, y'all seen him before? Very hilarious episode. Very hilarious, hilarious guy, Tommy Henry of Chicago History Podcast. Y'all make some noise for the boy. Hey, welcome back to the show. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm excited to be here once again. Yeah, we had a blast already before we ate. <laughs> Just, just like we normally do. That's true. Yeah. Holy cow! <laughs> Holy cow! We will, uh, we will uh, get to catch up with you in a second here. But uh, the trivia question. Um, mm. Let me repeat the question, and then uh, we're gonna take some guesses here. Uh, Navy Pier is uh, Chicago's number one tourist attraction. When the U.S. Navy moved out after World War II, who moved into the space? A. University of Chicago. B. Loyola University. C. University of Illinois. Any okay. guesses? I, I would say. Not Loyola. Okay. All right. Any Almost reason why? Almost for sure. Almost for sure. Okay. I don't right. know. It just seems like it's small. Why would it be in Navy Pier? You know what I mean? Like, what are they doing in Navy Pier? Loyola's pretty big, but I mean, I get it. But in comparison. Yeah. <laughs> I get it. Okay. I feel like the University of Chicago is the entirety of Hyde Park in my in my mind. <laughs> they are the also, reason why we got Hi- you. They're in Hyde Park, so they don't need to be in Navy Pier. Mm, okay. The University of Illinois is the closest one, I feel like. Physically to Navy Pier, so maybe University of Illinois in Champaign. No, Chicago, Illinois. No, the U of I Chicago. Right. Is mm. that the one you were talking about? Or are you talking about U of I Champaign? I don't. I don't know. I mean, I'm t- talking about. University. Who knows? Then it's your question. Well, I'm going to weigh in. I'm so old. I remember when it was called Municipal <laughs> Pier Number Two. <laughs> So World War One before it was called Navy Pier. That's mm. how old I am. You, wow. Tommy, you don't. You're not that old. But you, but you are correct. <laughs> I actually did an entire podcast episode about Navy Pier. Thanks to you both for listening. Um, <laughs> that's why we picked this question. We knew yeah, about the episode. Because we knew somebody would know so it. So I, I do know the answer and okay, the, answer the answer why. So uh, what was your final guess, by the way? I, I, w- I would say if it's University of Chicago, Illinois, I mean, University of Illinois in Chicago, then that. 
Otherwise, it'd be University of Chicago. But no, Loyola. Okay. All right. Wait. Uh, I, I still don't know what your final answer was. You just well, it depends on which one. What is it? You, final got, answer. you got three. You got Loyola, you got University of Chicago, or the University of Illinois. Fine, University of Chicago. What, what did you? It's the University of Illinois. They, oh, wait, that's what I originally said. <laughs> you tricked me I out of my you. original no, no, answer. No, no, I just wanted Play it clarity. back because I, I no. did say University of Illinois. Have that, we don't have that kind of technology. <laughs> So after World War II, yeah. there were uh, so many people allowed the GI Bill, mm-hmm. so they were encouraged to go back to school, and downstate Illinois became so overpopulated. They yeah. were like, what are we going to do? Let's open this new branch uh, right here at Navy Pier. Boom. So, yeah. Boom. Wow. There you go, y'all. Did you have that all in your notes? Uh, look, let me finish it off well, here. The answer right. is the, fi- the answer I'm is going to drink my drink. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you go do that. You okay. earned it. You earned That's a championship shot right there. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, you know, it was... Was, uh, they were there. University of Illinois was there until 1965 when the Circle Campus was built. Uh, that's when they moved out. Uh, and hey, Tommy took the uh, the uh, the fun fact for me that I had, uh, which is fantastic. As he as he should. Chicago History Podcast in the building. Uh, Navy Pier opened in 1916 as the Municipal Pier uh, for freight and for passenger. Number two. Number two. Yeah. Number two. What was one? They never built it. Yeah. They were oh. actually talking about building five piers, mm-hmm. and that was the only one that got built. Mm-hmm. Really? Crazy. Like right next to each other? No, kind of all spread out. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. Wouldn't, that, wouldn't that have been different for Chicago? Yeah. Yeah. What are they going to do? Put more McDonald's next to each other? They or just, Margaritaville? <laughs> <laughs> more Margaritaville? Wouldn't that be amazing? Mar- five Margaritaville? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> Mar- did Margaritaville? Stay, I would stay be in line for that. Margarita- Maybe like a stained glass museum one, stained glass museum two. <laughs> did, Mar- <laughs> did Margaritaville close down? No, we oh, just were I, there. No, like, no, no, no. But I think it just closed down. Oh, like, I don't know. I haven't been there in forever. It, it, it could have been. I don't know. Is that a place? Uh, yeah, margarita. Oh, okay, no, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> it's I like a twelve dollar margarita you pick up at a window and you, it's frozen. Yeah, but you get a you yeah. yeah. <laughs> We should shut this off right now and head <laughs> over there. And just go down there. <laughs> I mean, we're honestly, close. We're close. we are close, actually. You know what I mean? Look, right. this is the episode. It's, it's, it's in this community area. Uh, it's in, actually in no community area. Uh, one more. <laughs> listen to that. Sorry. Crispy audio. Yes. Uh, fun, uh, some more. Uh, 1927, it was uh, renamed to Navy Pier uh, after the, to honor the uh, World War vet, World War One vets. It's easy for you to yeah, say. Yeah, 1995 <laughs> is when it actually reopened uh, for tourism as we know it today here in Chicago. Now, when you think about that, uh, you, you probably think Navy Pier has been like a tourist attraction. There wouldn't been that big difference in like time where they shut down, right? Because yeah. I don't, me personally, I don't remember a Chicago without a Navy Pier. But that was 95. Tommy, what about you, you? Technically, there was. Well, I do. <laughs> Actually, uh, Chicago Fest, which was the kind of predecessor to Taste of Chicago, was held at Navy Pier back in, I think, 1980. Okay. One of the first performers was the Blues Brothers. Oh. You know, they were super huge at the time. Hey. So they, hey. they had kind of, you know, cleaned it up a little bit. And they were like, oh, Chicago Fest and Jane Byrne and all the rest. And uh, it, it didn't take. So it, it did, oh, yes. immediately went back to being you know, unused. Yeah, yeah, unused. Just unused. empty yeah. space hallways for you to walk well, I mean, Literally, no, it was kind of like, closed <laughs> off. Like, but know. I mean, today it's just hallways, right? Yeah, and I mean, touristy. I feel like we could WBZ do, we could do there. more. <laughs> it's literally just hallways and parking. Yeah, I mean, you know, right? There's and a, one there's hotel. A, there's the uh, Chicago e- Children's Museum. <laughs> Ever since AMC closed the IMAX there, it's been a little less attractive. Yeah, dang, dang, mm, dang. <laughs> there, there's a Ferris wheel there. That is, yeah, that's pretty exciting. <laughs> If it's exciting. like 20 people, I don't know. No, no, that is one of the biggest Ferris wheels. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is she going uh, again with the conspiracy? I don't know architecture. You know what? <laughs> I don't know architecture. <laughs> Which <laughs> button turns off her microphone? Here's this one. There's, 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 there's that one. Yeah. He, will, he would. He oh. has muted me before. Only one time. <laughs> Only one time. <laughs> Only one wow. time. It was a, she was a little reckless. Uh, <laughs> that is not true. I don't even remember why. Listen, I like you being referred to as reckless. <laughs> I think that's amazing. But if people that listen to it, they know that Sarah's always reckless yeah. with me. It's, I, I probably said something like a sports shirt instead of a jersey. Oh, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't <laughs> like do angry, I guess. Yeah, don't, don't do that. Uh, no, what was the one that got you like really mad? Sports shirt, God damn it. That was... That was yeah. the, Anything, Across the line, you're like, woman? Related. <laughs> did, did he call you woman? He 
You might as well have. Yeah. <laughs> he muted me, which is really, if, in the grand scheme of I things, mean, the patriarchy it's even worse. muting women. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Wow. Y'all, look, y'all not going to have this picture oh, painted on your Oh, man. This on the internet. No, we're man. not going to. I got the white man behind me. Yeah. <laughs> we're going all the How way. How dare you? How dare no. you? <laughs> we're not going to mute the mic. <laughs> Mute the mics, both mics. Holy cow! <laughs> um, anyway, y'all, you see, we uh, we've been drinking, we've been having some fun. Tommy is our Tommy is our guy. Last time we was on here, we had a lot of fun. Um, it's true. We were in a completely different neighborhood, yeah. eating completely different food, way different. And you guys had me back. This yeah, is man. amazing. How you been? You know what? I've been well. I've been uh, you know doing podcast stuff, and yeah. and and uh, you know I was excited to get uh, your message, yeah, or Sarah's message. I yeah. don't know. It, it just it comes from one email. I never have <laughs> any idea who I'm talking to, but I'm always excited. It, it it, de- come on. it depends on how many eyes there are after the H. <laughs> oh, if there's like three or four, it's me. Yeah. If it's just straight to the point. Yeah, I mean, oh, look. interesting. Or, so, or if I say bruh, yo. if I say bruh, anytime. I, I got no bruhs. <laughs> it was her then. It was her. All right. I always assume it's her. Yeah. 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 So then I get a little flirty, and then I'm like, oh. And then I decide what to check the deal. Yeah, I'm like, is he going to be cool with me flirting? <laughs> with him. Would it be weird if I was messaging you back? Yeah, I'm like, Catfish, new episode of Catfish. <laughs> <laughs> you come on the podcast, it's me that's actually turned on. <laughs> There's a new Netflix show that I was not expecting. Oh, boy. I smell Whoa. sitcom. <laughs> we got Tommy in the building. <laughs> I don't know why you're doing that snapping thing. Because that is not... I don't know. I don't know. No, I, don't, I don't know why either. So, what restaurant did we pick today? <laughs> well, what neighborhood did we, we pick? Am today? I jumping ahead too much? Wait, like a whole thirty sorry, minutes. Sorry, sorry, I'm jumping ahead. Sorry, it's um, this. Yeah, these are. I'm two in. You two in. We uh, we we uh, yeah. we let this episode. Uh, let's get in tune with it though. Uh, you, Tommy, you remember this? Uh, this is how we get tuned up. Yeah, there we go. Yep, brought all the memories back. Here we go, y'all. We are in. Community number eight, uh, community area number eight, near Northside. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> do we do that for the Northside? I, I mean, <laughs> somebody must. I, I, I read something today. Someone said, you know how people get excited, South Side or West Side? Someone said, West Loop is the best loop. I was like, is that white people stay? Is, <laughs> yeah, like, is that their version? Who gets excited about <laughs> The loops. The, the loops? I, listen, the different loops? I, I look at Chicago history all the time, and even I would have to be like, what are you saying? What, what is even in the what's? Ex- what is the West Loop? Listen, I'm construction not. Construction is what West Loop is. Pretty, pretty much. Honest. Pretty yeah, much. Yeah, construction. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. Uh, let's get in tune with it. The uh, boundaries to the north, we got North Avenue to the south, Chicago River to the east, Lake Michigan, and to the west, the north branch of the Chicago River yet again. So three sides yep. of the uh, mm. of the community area are bound by water, which is uh, significant. We'll get into it in a second. Uh, this is the most populated community That's area. because it's oh. like 70,000 neighborhoods <laughs> in is, one area. It is Somebody true. was like north. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is It is that, uh, that part there. A um, couple fun facts before we get into the uh, history of it. Um, the one fun fact is, <laughs> I found this is pointless. Pointless fun fact, but I'm going to say it anyway. This is the second, uh, this is the community area with the second most uh, skyscrapers in it. <laughs> oh. I heard that and I was like, I mean, what's I f- can't challenge him. Yeah. You know, what's the first? The loop. The loop. <laughs> See, <laughs> you're talking shit about the loop and not I the mean, most no, I'm talking, I'm talking oh, about West the West Loop. loop. Yeah, West yeah. loop. <laughs> the West is Loop. Is West Loop just can... like a West part of the loop or I mean, is it just yeah. like. It's near like, West Side. Near West think, Side. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's not even in the loop. Yeah. It's, not. it's, it's outside not, of the loop. It's, it's outside of the loop. loop. Near West yeah, Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's literally always construction. Near West Side, yeah. yeah. Uh, which brings me to the next, not fun fact, but kind of name of it. It better be fun if you're calling <laughs> it a fun <laughs> fact. Because otherwise, I am walking out fun. of here, <laughs> and I am going to unsubscribe. Don't do it. Please don't. We need it. Unsubscribe. Okay. That, that hurts more than anything. Yeah. We're trying to buy a house with be... a yard, so I need you to continue to be In Chicago? Yes. In summer, like, here we go. Like, what, 1.5 million? Good luck. <laughs> anyway, Two million. what's your fun fact? I'm using finger quotes. Here's the, fun fact. Here's the fun fact. Uh, do you know why it is named near Northside? Because it's near the north? Yes. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> 
this is. I feel is, like the University of Chicago had minimal yeah, effort naming they, these. They did. Uh, so they were it's, like, mm, yeah. no. <laughs> it is near. It is the nearest to the. They say center, but we know this is not the center of Chicago. But this is kind of like the starting grid. We know the loop is like the starting point of Chicago. Yeah. Uh, so this is one mile north <laughs> of the loop. So. There we go. All right. That's, that's why it's called Near Northside. Really stupid. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. Do you know where the center of Chicago is? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we went to it. McKinley Park. 35th and Horn. Yeah, so the Horn, true... Uh, Henri. Yes. All right, so how about the uh, true center of... Uh, oh, boy, how do I do this? How about this zero point in Chicago? State Madison. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, yeah. You're going to start paying attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, so that's good. why I say the loop is... That's the quote unquote right. starting point. Right. Yeah. 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 State ma- it's, uh, Zero. Which, again, y'all, uh, if you go down there, if you are tourists and you listen to here, go there. Because, I hope they are. Yeah. We really do hope they right? are. Yes. Go to that point because nobody goes there and like takes pictures by that. I feel like if I was a tourist, I'd be like, where's the I starting there's point? There's a Primark across the street and they have the best deals. <laughs> You can get, nobody, like, 10 nobody, shirts for $5. You said, you said nobody paying attention to no the nail. No one cares Wait, about this is zero state point. in Madison? Yeah. There's a Primark right across. What do you mean? I, hold on. I'm very distracted by <laughs> Dario moving his microphone. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's okay. You heard, all, you heard like, all the... Uh, yeah, it was like he took a plastic bag and just, just crushed rubbed it, in your it up ears. Yeah. What's funny is that the people won't even hear that. Oh, I think they will. <laughs> I don't think there's any... I mean, unless your audience is 85 and older... Yeah, I hope, I hope they don't. Yeah, no, no I, had, I had to. I, no, you I don't have to. <laughs> no. Here we go. Anyway, uh, the, <laughs> so the, uh, what, was, what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> no one knows. No one knows. You said, no, we were talking about uh, McKinley Park, yeah. center oh, yeah, yeah. of Chicago, oh, yeah, yeah. near north, the, the rivers, high, something. Skyscrapers. There, there's, there's a debate about what the center of Chicago is. Okay. Because Why? The, who, who, and who is debating it? Yeah, it's people that are not us, okay. <laughs> basically. So, uh, it, so, the, so the debate is that that's not the, the actual center of Chicago because they added oh, uh, yeah. O'Hare after that was yeah. already established. And it's like... But come on now. You know what I mean? Like, it makes up for it because there's a gap in between, which a lot of people don't realize. There's a gap in Chicago by O'Hare where Norridge, uh, oh. Nor- yeah, Norridge, because that's not part of Chicago. <gasps> yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. I don't think I did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But so to be honest, I don't think I care. Yeah. I <laughs> no, no, we I care I because we know <laughs> O'Hare was a community area. Yeah. Well. It's, it's an airport. There's there are people, no, but people, people live there. People have to live there. For people it live to be there. A community yeah, area. people live people there. Yeah, live at there. the airport. I mean, Is I guess yeah. like that Tom Hanks movie where <laughs> the terminal. Yeah. I don't. There's anyway. a lot of conspiracy theories about. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let's let's we history. <laughs> yes, tell me some history in near north. Yeah, so here's the uh, history in near north. Uh, I gotta I gotta read this because uh, somebody forgot my iPad. Wow, it's your uh, iPad. So it's your responsibility <laughs> wow. to remember. Wow. Okay. Uh, but let's start off with some easy uh, history here. Uh, the first uh, non set. What the f- what the hell is going on here? Why does it keep you see? Yeah. Every time I scroll, it scrolls back up. Uh, the first non-permanent settlers uh, were John Baptiste, uh, Point du Sable, and his wife. <laughs> and his made po- up name. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> made is made up your, guy. Your conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> you believe it? Sorry, go on. It's what a conspiracy. Yeah. Uh, and his, his wife, Catherine, in uh, 1789 uh, is actually when they settled here in Chicago, mm-hmm. uh, which is Chicago at the time. Ch- Chicago. Uh, and do you know what that uh, means? There's a bunch of different... Something onions. Onion, you're right. Well, they, they, right. Yeah, so, yeah. Many have said, like, well, no, no, no. Many have said wild onion, but then there are people like, no, what did it actually translate to? Eh, yeah. Okay. What is it? What what is it? I, it's I, I it's I so many, wild onion. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. It's so yeah. many different things. Uh, yeah. Basically, it stunk here is what it was. It was swampy and it stunk, yeah. well, and well, onion I mean, was we, the translation. Kind of like, kinda like being on the red line. <laughs> It's like Chicago. It's, it's not onion that I'm smelling on the red line. Yeah, it's no. it's, not it's, a, body odor. it's a mixture of everything. Oh boy! Oh, it's like ooh, yeah. depending on what time of day. It, it could be. It could be the five o'clock. Uh, coming home. It could yeah. be. Uh, it could be the morning after that night. Everything that happened. Yeah. The night oh before. my goodness. Yeah, we you get it. Get we it. definitely Welcome. get it. Welcome to Chicago. Uh, do you know? Who the people who what two famous people were? Here's a fun fact: uh, two famous people that were here even before uh, John Baptiste Point du Sable were what came here. Oh boy, I don't know famous people that long ago. You gotta you gotta think of Southwest suburbs. <laughs> hey, hey, hey yeah. look at, I'm gonna really? give you a coin. All right, go ahead, Kanye. Get it out of your system, Kanye. <laughs> you know what, <laughs> <laughs> bruh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. 
Kanye. The funniest comment of the day. <laughs> that was good. That was oh good. That gosh. was good. I just, uh, you said 1791. I need to I steal her away from you. Yeah, because she is amazing. That was good. That was right, go ahead. Get it out of your system. Uh, Jackie's uh, market. <laughs> this guy Here we go again. <laughs> It, it hit me. Go ahead. It, Go ahead. And lose. Uh, and that was uh, given by uh, Jackie's Jacquees Marquette and uh, Louis jo- Joliet. Um, a back- bunch of French words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That- yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Considering he grew up not far from Joliet, <laughs> I can't believe that he stumbled so hard on Joliet. Yeah. But the other words. Yeah, yeah. The other words he he made a good try at, and he was like, forget it. By the time he gets to Joliet, he's like, I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to give it up. That's fantastic. Jeez. That deserves but, some applause. But please go on. Holy. Oh, boy. Juliet. Okay. So, for anyone oh, that I'm has a, not Don't worry. Heard I'm going to play it back for him. I'm going to play it back for him. Okay. Don't even worry. I'm going to clip that in for him. <laughs> if you, if you are wondering why we're laughing, I, this is deja vu. I'm, but I got it right this time. It's deja vu all over again. <laughs> It's so I got it. Oh I got it. <laughs> that was good. Oh my that God. was a good callback. Wow. Uh, uh, they, so they they came here in 1673, a uh, hundred plus years before uh, you know the boy. Oh boy, came. <laughs> Lakeshore Drive. <laughs> like yeah, Lakeshore Drive came. Um, they were just travelers and they didn't settle here. And if you know, they actually they came from uh, the east, right? And and then kind of traveled. And they were working their way up towards back around back around Lake Michigan. They were kind of like hanging around that area. So uh, a nice little fun fact. <laughs> the neighborhoods. Trying to find that on a map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. It's Michigan. Lake know. Michigan. Yeah. The, 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 I'm not going to let him give me directions <laughs> to uh, Galena anytime soon. <laughs> Galena. Yeah. Peru. Peru, <laughs> Peru <laughs> Michigan. Cairo. <laughs> yeah. You know, give me directions to Cairo, Illinois. They what start, the hell is that at? Well... <laughs> That's why I can't give, let you let you give me directions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know where yeah. it is. <laughs> uh, neighborhoods in this community area: uh, the Gold Coast, which we'll talk about; yeah. River North, which we'll talk about; <laughs> Magnificent mm. Mall. Again, mm. those specifically we'll talk about. Mm. Uh, Washington Square, Old Town, Street of Ville, Sono. Do you know what Sono is? South North. Yeah, south really? of, south of North Avenue. Wow, uh, it's like Soho, but yeah. the opposite. So no. That's, of course, Chicago would come with Sono. I don't think anyone knows. calls it Sono. Yeah. So, there's nobody a Sono says it. Nobody in says it. New York. It, yeah, we were there. Or NoHo? N- who cares? Soho? <laughs> Are you thinking of Soho? Yeah, you said there's, Soho you said there's, there's no holes in a... There's, there's no- a north of it and a south of whatever hole is. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you are on one this episode. <laughs> I'm just saying... Anyway, uh, this Rush is Street. It, this is this is she, mean, she is winning right now. I'm not even. That's not, wasn't even a joke. It, it, we went we, to it. Okay, I get that's it. That's where it's we ran out. into that guy yeah, that right. does the uh, Instagram. That was videos. North Houston. Yeah, it NoHo. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally called NoHo. What? And then the last one is <laughs> Cabrini Green, uh, which we'll talk about that because uh, I bet you a lot of people didn't realize that was near Northside. I did not oh. realize that. Well, was near Northside. Uh, a lot of people consider that Westside, but well, it, yeah, right. We'll yeah. we'll talk about it. We'll okay. talk about it. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, so I was wondering how we started out talking about the history here, and I feel Oof, like yeah. this is a good starting point talking with talking about William B. Ogden. Uh, I love to talk about William B. Ogden. Yeah, so here's some here's some fun facts on him. Uh, the B stands for Butler. Uh, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was a fun fact. That was <laughs> <laughs> this is me shaking my head. Yeah, Daria doesn't know what fun fact means. People are like, Jesus, this yeah. is the least oh fun I've ever had. <laughs> Butler. Brutal. <laughs> Butler. Butler he- is fun to this guy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> William Butler Ogden uh, moved... <laughs> To Chicago in It'd 18... be like William Barney. Yeah, That'd stop be, it. That would, that would be funny. <laughs> yeah, he moved to Chicago yeah. in 1836, uh, was an investor in the Illinois and Michigan Canal, uh, and then moved and worked on the uh, railroads, <laughs> ASMR, sorry, sorry. Uh, worked on the railroads. Um, but we know him as the first mayor of Chicago. And do you know how long that term was? Eight years. No. Nine years. Do you know? Oh, gosh. I got lost along the way. He he served one single term for one year. Yeah. Oh, so, wow. Right. So back, Chicago mayors used to serve one-year terms. Mm-hmm. Crazy, right? Every year you'd have to go vote. Yeah, that's and then they were like, you know what? One is too uh, narrow. Mm-hmm. Let's make it two-year terms. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
crazy, and yeah. then finally they got around doing four yeah. year terms and do until you, the dailies, and yeah. then it was like we'll give them fifty whatever they want to have. Right? Yeah, years, stay yeah. as long as you want. Do you know who preceded him though? Which is a fun uh, fact, Kinsey. <laughs> Kinsey, uh, which uh, is was not a mayor, he was the president of like operations, uh, you know, in the in the Chicago area. Yeah, um, Chicago's C-O-R. first murderer. Yeah, pretty much. Really? <laughs> well, we we can't talk about it right now, but but yes, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Which, killed somebody and got covered up, Chicago oh, wow. style, even back in the day. Yeah, wow. and funny part about that is that was uh, not Chicago. <laughs> then it wasn't. It wasn't. Chicago was not incorporated at that mm. point. Uh, <laughs> so he got away with so it. So he got away with it. Uh, it was just Chicago. Actually, was just a town instead of a city. Uh, did you know Chicago was a town in uh, became a town in 1833? It became a city in 1837. Boom. Uh, that's one point for me. <laughs> one point for me. Sad the drinks. Let, Let him have it. it. Uh, him yeah, have I'll, I'll have it. I'll have take it. Uh, here's the thing. Here's what. Here's He's why. He's going to tell you that there are four stars on the Chicago flag. <laughs> <soon>. <laughs> I'm going to tell you that each point has a star. Has a has a uh, meaning. Yeah, I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> nice. uh, here's uh, here's why I started with uh, Ogden. Right. Uh, he is the reason why we pretty much have a booming lakefront. Right. He kind of started. The, the 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 waterfront and, and kind of said, hey, look, let's make something out of Chicago because he saw his family came. Mm. His family was here, right? He's a New Yorker, right? He's a New Yorker. He came from New York and all the land his family had, he was like, well, wait a minute. This is pretty good land. Uh, and he saw that real estate was starting to boom around the area. So he said, hey, why don't we make something of this, right? And, and, and wanted to basically industrialize the area and so you make, made Michigan Avenue. Nope, nope. But we'll get to that point. So I kind of I'm going to flow. <laughs> I'm oh, going to flow with that. Yeah. <laughs> so he made Go Michigan on, Avenue. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm no, sorry she interrupted. It's okay. <laughs> Go on. It's okay. Please. So uh, he. So what he did. <laughs> so what he did was he took the lakefront. Right. Um. Uh. He took the lakefront and made it big. And what he did create. Mm-hmm. Uh, was a canal uh, around the bend of the north part of the um, Chicago River. And you know what was came from that? Goose Island. Oh. Yeah. Goose Island It came uh, was a product oh. of what he did because he wanted to industrialize and make use of the water and the land right there. Mm-hmm. And so Goose Island came. And do you know why it's called Goose Island? Because there's a lot of geese and it was the shape of an island. You are not wrong. You know what? That's not bad. You know, that's not like bad. Straightforward names. A shot in the dark. Are, but, yeah, but near yeah. Northside, Goose Island. Straightforward <laughs> okay. names. I like it. Do we you need know? to let Dario have a sip of his sazerac. Yeah, yeah. Let me get yeah. that. Well, I thought you were going to keep you on know, talking. You know no, he's getting some called, crazy. Do you know why it's called Goose Island? Cotton mouth. Um, <laughs> no, I'm drinking. You know what? I don't. <laughs> yeah. no? I don't know. Let me, let me take a yeah. breath. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? You. Yeah, this is, normally Sarah stuff. has the mic stand I'm that you have. I'm cutting you off. Yeah, you I'm cutting him <laughs> off. I didn't even have anything. I'd like another drink. <laughs> You're the only one to say here. Here's why they here's why they call it Goose Island hmm. because when real estate uh, and industry kind of did the uplift that they both were on the rise for, a lot of Irish folks uh, around the time moved in. They were the workers that worked in these industrial uh, parts of the near North Side at the time, right? Uh, so Irish people moved in there. But they had a lot of geese, and that's they kept a lot of geese personally. Oh, like for as animals? Yeah, okay. animal for whatever it, whatever for reason. Goose meat. Yeah, and so that's why they called oh. it Goose Island. And, and it's an island, so you're actually right. So you are actually yeah. right. Yeah. You just missed the word Irish seven yeah. times, <laughs> you did. Like, like Dario said. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now, do you know this though? Did you know this? Uh, speaking of Mayor Daly. Um, Mayor Daly made this the first uh, protected industrial park uh, in the city. Which Mayor Daly? The second M. Okay. Yeah, M. He made it the. He, he made it. Made which, it? Yeah. No, he didn't make made? it. He, he designated it, I All guess. Right. Yeah, no, I, I like made it. Yeah. He made it that. <laughs> he, the, made it. he made it. He made it. And, uh, you know? Another Cesarec? <laughs> Another Zazerac for you. I like Zazerac. <laughs> uh, well, we continue uh, down uh, near Northside and kind of talk about the history. The Chicago Fire, right? Chicago Fire, we know that, 1871. It destroyed a lot of things, but what it didn't destroy was the land uh, in the area. So, um, again, this was prime real estate, so to say. And a lot of people, after the Chicago Fire, they moved and said, hey, we're rebuilding like everybody else in the city was. They rebuilt. 
but Prairie Avenue, we talked about Prairie Avenue, and uh, if you all remember, Prairie Avenue was once the place for the affluent uh, mm-hmm. Chicagoans, right? You know, uh, you had, uh, I mean, probably the biggest name was Pullman. You know, he was he was one of the... I mean, Marshall he, Field yeah, Marshall, might have like, a little I, issue with I, that. Yeah, we, they were both... You want to go Pullman <laughs> Field? I will go Pullman Field all day. <laughs> they were boys. They were they were boys though. They were, were they? Yeah, they were. The, uh, he didn't. Pullman didn't like the house across the street. The uh, um, what is that house? Uh, it's a it's, across the street from what? Uh, him. He lived oh. where he lived. He said the house was uh, by the Clark House. What's the house uh, by the Clark House? God, I'm going. This is horrible. Um, is in is in still in that area? Yeah, yeah. But I'm he, drawing a complete blank. Uh, me too. I know exactly. You know, I can picture it. Yes. Um, so why didn't he like it? Because he thought it was ugly. He oh. thought he thought it was, he thought it was he ugly. He just bought it. He yeah. had the money. Right? <laughs> he, Buy it, level it. Make, yeah. it a, make it a side lot right. well, for your kids. Well, yeah. this is what he did do. <gasps> what? This is what he did do. Terry's along, got the scoop. I do got the scoop. Um, so they moved. Um, all those affluent people from Prairie Avenue moved from that area and moved to the lakefront when they said, hey, we got to rebuild the city anyway. Might as well. Where let's was just the lakefront at this point that you're talking about? Not where it is today. It was further. Yeah, it was further inland. Yeah. It was further in. So, which I was going to get to it, but we can talk about it now. It makes sense now. Um, yeah, we'll come back to it, right? We'll come back to it. But, yes, it was further inland. By the right? way, there are 15 <laughs> things we're going to come back to yeah, in case yeah. you're keeping count. It's yeah. like the biggest community area after, well, West Town? Is West Town bigger? Uh no 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 we're li- uh, Lincoln uh, Lakeview is West Loop uh, bigger no no <laughs> no <laughs> no, no. It all comes back to West Loop yeah um, but when those, pe- <laughs> Tops. Tops. when those people moved right when they moved to the uh, lakefront you know what they created they created the Gold Coast that is how the Gold Coast came right uh, the Gold Coast came and that's where now a lot of people. I feel like a lot of people that are not from Chicago live in the Gold Coast. Yeah, so fun fact about And the West Loop. And River North. He throws fun fact around a lot. I do. I do. Here's a a fun fact brought to you by the the C-Map, Chicago Municipality and Area Planning Map. What? what? Yeah, you know, boom, boom, here we go. (laughs) Uh, 1.6 is the amount of people uh, per household in the near north side. That's very little. 34 is the average age of the uh, of the people that live in uh, the near north side. So point being is that there's a lot of single people out here. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it's a, a lot of single people out in this area. So yeah. yes, this is where people come. Uh, you know, to kind of like, you know, we Party. we Chicago is know this is where people come. If this is your first time into the city, young, That's you think it's you cool. You come here yeah. and then you realize, and then you realize, oh shit, there's yeah. cooler yeah, stuff yeah. outside of. You you this realize like six circle. months in, but you signed that one year lease. <laughs> and you, and, and you, you live, you live you in start. a one bedroom and you pay like thirty five hundred dollars. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You realize there's more to it. Yeah. Um, which if you're, if you're listening to this right now and that's you, <laughs> sorry, no, not sorry, not sorry. Shame on you. You're buy, an idiot. Buy an L card and <laughs> look an around idiot. the city, <laughs> or listen to seventy seven players. Yeah. Thank you. You can learn we'll about all. You, know. you can learn about all the exciting <laughs> stuff. I'm going to jump right in to tell jump you. In. Please jump in. So just south of North Avenue, so. I talk about in one of my uh, podcast episodes, I think October of 2020, mm-hmm. Ghoulish Chicago. I talked about Lincoln Park and how it used to be the city cemetery, yeah. right? Yep. So, Which there are still some cemeteries that you can see. Well, some, right. Some so cemetery. a lot of the uh, bodies, they realized at one point, like, oh, the cemetery is so close to the city. They, bodies hadn't been buried very well, and they decided to move them to cemeteries like Rose Hill mm-hmm. and Graceland Cemetery. But because of the Chicago fire... There were a lot of uh, graves that did not get moved mm-hmm. properly. So historians estimate there are between ten and 12,000 bodies Damn. still buried in Lincoln Park yeah. in the cemetery area. So the zoo, all that stuff, yep. bodies. Yeah. Creepy. They, I wonder if like, yeah. the families we talked about that. know. Well, I mean, they, that's so long ago. Yeah. That's so long yeah. ago. Yeah. But south of North Avenue so no. was the... Uh, <laughs> You know what? <laughs> it comes back to you yeah, and yeah. <laughs> South of North Avenue um, was the Catholic Cemetery. Mm. So the Catholic Cemetery, again, was pulled up. A lot of people were, were moved, but a lot of people were not. Mm-hmm. The Archdiocese bought uh, space there. The um, uh, Palmer family had their you know uh, mansion there. Um, but a lot of bodies did not get pulled up. Right. And even as uh, recently as the 1980s, 
they were digging up old land to yeah. build new houses, and it was like, oops, here's bodies. We actually talked about that in the uh, Lincoln Park episode. But, like, yeah. how, you can't even identify it. You, I mean, well, well, you, I mean, you could, you, man, if we could, could identify d- dinosaurs and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, but, like, are you, <laughs> is the city exist, going? like birds. Come on. <laughs> Conspiracy. Right? These are not Seriously. real dead bodies. Birds are not real. <laughs> These are not They're real. Not. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, hate to repeat anything your listeners no, 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 this is good. But they don't, they this is all part of Near North. So one of the recent episodes I did was about uh, an area called the Sands, which okay. was the most, like, I mean, crazy debauchery, like killings and Damn. all the worst stuff in the world happened just uh, on the north side of the river. Um, and going back to William B. Ogden, yeah. at one point, I mean, just crazy shanties and prostitutes and sorry, wow. sex workers yeah. and, you know, all the craziness that was going on and... William B. Ogden said, I'm going to buy uh, land in this area, but the squatters would not leave. Mm. So he had to go to the mayor at the time um, and say, hey, I need some help. So the mayor actually put together a horse racing you know, uh, oh, wow. event oh. to get all the degenerate gamblers to go to the horse racing wow. event. And then they basically went in and like pulled Pushed all the, the shacks down so that... They wow. Know where to come back to. Yes. Wow. It was called The Sands, and the episode is called uh, Hair Trigger Block. If you want to listen, Chicago History Podcast. We can, we'll so plug it. Plug it. Yeah. Hair Trigger Block, yeah. uh, debauchery and murder in Chicago. I just did it a couple weeks ago. Fascinating to me. By the way, the um, uh, you know basis of where <clears throat> all of the debauchery was going on in Chicago is about where that tall building is with a, a guy's name on it. It's got five letters. I forget what Ooh, it's called. Yeah, it's irrelevant, Drake. I think, the name. Uh, no, not Drake. It begins with a T. Anyway, I don't remember. He might have been a president at one point. Uh, the point is, uh, <laughs> this is a nutty area. I it's like had a lot of that, that building was right there. You know, thank you. A lot yeah. of crazy history. So, so, so to to your point about Uh-oh. like the sands, I wasn't really making a point. Yeah, no, that. but you, but you did. <laughs> you did. Arbitrary yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we we keep on moving uh, along the coastline right there, a uh, coastline along the, uh, the the shoreline, of Chicago here. Yeah. Uh, Streeterville, Streeterville. Oh yeah. Is almost directly tied into what you're talking about here with the sands and everything. Uh, Streeterfield comes from uh, uh, basically a sailor, a <laughs> captain. Sailor is yeah. generous. Yeah, it's very generous. <laughs> a pirate? Yeah. 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 He was basically a pirate. Yeah, he's a guy with a boat. Yeah, he's a guy with a, with a <laughs> yeah. boat, George Streeter. Who doesn't have a boat? So here's his, yeah, so here's his story. <laughs> here's his story. Me, I don't, Streeter, I don't have a boat. Yeah, I don't have a boat. Streeterville is derived from uh, George Streeter, who had a steamboat. In the area where Streeterville is now, and the squatters you were talking about, he saw. Wait a minute, people are people are moving here. You know, and like and this is good land. He said, "Well, shit, uh, I am going to claim that I was here. I'm a squatter. This is my land." To the point, he said that this is not even Illinois. You can't kick me out. This is mine, and all because he wanted to own the land and be his own. He wanted to govern his own land. So he said that Streeterville, which is in Chicago and clearly in Illinois, he said, "No, it's not." It went to court. They said, <laughs> "You're wrong," and yeah. they get out of here. They, yeah. Yeah, get out of here. They let it still be named Street. Yeah, he claimed it as sovereign land. Yes. Wow. And basically said, like, this is my domain. This is mine. White people, I tell and you. And it was, <laughs> I mean... I mean, they just, they've just just been discovering land since Listen, the beginning. Of- <laughs> we white people like to argue crazy discover stuff. Discover things. We was, like yeah. to discover things and argue crazy no, things. Which is, which is crazy because, like, yeah. you know, the fact that they even... I bet you at the time I they were like, do we have to go to goddamn court over this? <laughs> like, this is, this is Chicago. Yeah. Yeah, which is, which is crazy. Yeah. Is, he, is he a British? Pirate. Uh, <laughs> he was from Plainfield, Illinois. <laughs> Joliet. Louis Joliet. Dragged. <laughs> I don't know a lot of people from Plainfield, Illinois, but this sounds like Dario. And if if you are if you are listening in Plainfield, tendencies. Illinois, I cannot back you up on this. This yeah. was this would be some shit y'all would do. <laughs> Knowing y'all for all those years. Uh, 1920, uh, the Michigan Avenue Bridge was uh, formed, was was built. And what that did I was... Like formed, like formed, it was yeah, made yeah. of clay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> somebody yeah. just like sitting there molding. a scene out of so, Somebody Patrick just sitting there. Patrick Swayze. <laughs> Patrick Swayze is reaching past Jimmy Moore, forming... <laughs> Go on. Sorry. So, so it was it it was formed. No, it was it was built. Uh, but now, what that what that did was it it actually 
gave people more reason to build around that, that, that land. So you had shops. Everything you see now, you that was the start of it right there, like for Michigan Avenue. I, I didn't realize that at some point you couldn't just cross the bridge. Right. It, 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 made, it made no sense. Like, you just couldn't. You what couldn't, did you do? Like, well, I mean, there weren't nice bridges. They were, you they know, were rickety. small yeah. and yeah, rickety. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah. you know, you had to. Get, yeah, I mean, you had to find a way across. Think about it, it's the 20s, so it wasn't. Yeah. 1950s is when the Mag Mile was, mm. uh, was started. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> Good and a lot of bad, because what it did was, it was started, obviously, you know, the people are booming there, and, and more on, now that you got access to it, um, let's pull more shops, and it made it more, you won't hear it in post. No. <laughs> No, go on. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it was. It sounds like people are throwing dishes. Yeah, right. At each you know, like here. we can hear everything live, yeah. but like you know, when it's done, you can't hear. It, but right. um, but a lot of but a lot of shops and everything, everything you know right now, it started building. That's where Mag Mile came from. In the fifties, you said. Yes, in the fifties, but it was part of Chicago's urban renewal, um, which, long story short, pushed out people uh, or or encompass. What I mentioned earlier, Cabrini Green, which is not a which is not a neighborhood, but it was a neighborhood way back in 1942, all the way to 2011 when the last building was deconstructed. So what happened was um, they knew that this was a booming land, right, and it just kept spreading beyond Michigan Avenue, right. Um, and and again, keep in mind now, this is still in near North. Cabrini Green was in near North technically. And they started building around it, houses and homes around it that were good homes. And Cabrini Green was a project housing, was meant to be for for good, right? It was meant to be for good. It, it, we all know here in Chicago, it was not. It was what we consider the projects, right? Sure. Probably, probably one of the most prominent projects uh, here in Chicago. Um, so what they did was, in this part, <laughs> I don't want to say this, but Mayor Daly, Commission the deconstruction, the demolishment of some of the buildings uh, right when they knew the Michigan Avenue and the near north mm. side was actually starting to boom. He, he demolished. I don't want to say it because I want to speak bad. Like, I don't want to do I that. Mean, but, just like, tell the true it history. is what it is. Like, he, he shut it down, right? He, he, they, the city shut that down, right? Um, and that's how the Cabrini Green apartments got shut down. Now, that was supposed to be replace and they were supposed to take the displaced people and move them right. out somewhere it didn't happen we know that didn't happen it's still something that is uh you know if you if you are here in chicago you know that they owe us you know <laughs> like you you owe us and a lot of people that you displace 2011 was the last building de uh demolished uh and that's you know that's only yesteryear that's 11 years ago uh from the time of this podcast uh that that is not too far off from when they demolished and it sent these people packing, basically. You know what I mean? Which is which is a sad thing about Cabrini Green because it, it almost got a bad rep. But did they replace the high rises with mixed mixed use affordable housing, mixed. or did they put a target there? So yeah, combination of both. I mean, yeah, it, kind of, it was a combination of both. They put they did put mixed use there, right? But who could afford the mixed use? Well, and yeah. and based on the numbers of people that mm-hmm. were in Cabrini Green compared mm-hmm. to what they replaced it with, it's like uh, yeah. It was it was a horrible gift take. You know what I mean? Like it's it's one of but those Target. But <laughs> is that the Gothic Target? That's no, 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 no. no. Oh. Gothic Target is by the uh, zero, yeah, yeah, yeah. zero, zero, by the zero. Yeah. By Primark. Oh, Everybody yeah. knows that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's by Primark. <laughs> by zero, zero. Um, but that is that, <laughs> by Primark. Now, now we can't look at Primark. Back to, yeah, I gotta buy T-shirts now. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. look at Primark like $10, damn it. T- Ten T-shirts for five dollars. <laughs> yeah, they they are good. That is like, Are they? They're like sweatshops. You know? That's yeah. like that's a European company. Yeah. So, it is. Yeah. Even the young kids in sweatshops would be like, "This is crap." <laughs> this is. This I'm is not gonna. Yeah, I, I can't condone don't this. Don't buy this. No, I, yeah. I can't condone I, it. I wouldn't wear it. Yeah, no. personally, I wouldn't wear it. Um, so that, that's a little bit about Cabrini Green. Don't want to end on that note. Yeah, thanks for bringing us down. Yeah, yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, don't want to. I, I will bring it. I will bring it back up. You got something? That's what she said. No, no, that's no. It. Oh, I will oh, bring it back. That's what she said. That's good. I was like, it's a light bulb. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's light blue. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, fun fact. <laughs> Again, I know y'all love I it. You throw that around. You throw that all around. Uh, uh, and, and, a little too loose. Here's the thing. He just, <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> um, uh, so River River North um, is one of the neighborhoods in here, and most Chicagoans <laughs> don't don't go to don't, the river don't go to River North. Um, I don't. You know, I don't. Do you? I, no, we don't. You, you want overpriced? Yeah, I'm, no. I'm 30 years too old for that. 
<laughs> yeah, but look, dude. I think the moment and you I'm do only thirty five. Oh, w- <laughs> so go on. The moment you do it once in River North, you're too old. Yeah. Like, so you, you only need one experience to know I spent way too much money. <laughs> way too much. Anyway, but here's the thing. So they uh, they have this. I didn't know this. Um, there's uh, Little Sicily, which was kind of like coined down there. And I did some research on what is Little Sicily in River North, right? And here's, it was the home to the first Italian Roman church here in Chicago. Hmm. What? Yes. Uh, yep. Uh, <laughs> it was, yeah, my bad. It seemed uh, like it got louder. It did, yeah. Well, my coins are louder. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, <some>, uh, <laughs> they're, they're more valuable they than are. our coins? Yes. Than Sarah's coins? I don't ever get How coins. Dare you. You get I get coins. like a coin every four you episodes. You should get coins all the time. I agree. You, get I agree. Co- you got a coin this I'm episode. I'm the comic relief Your man don't treat you right. Wow. <laughs> wow. Bruh. This is the oh, whole lot. I, get, I get bras a lot. Oh. I get the bad noise. Oh, but never <laughs> coins? Wow. I got oh. done that a few times. Dario. I mean, you could tell who controls the oh, board. You it's meaningless no. now. It yeah, doesn't even no. matter. It's like, it's like buying me flowers uh, after I've asked you to buy me flowers. Right. It's irrelevant. Jeez. Not like I'll do this to no, me. No, no, it's, it's worse. It's like you say, you should buy me flowers. And he goes, can I borrow 20 bucks <laughs> to buy you flowers? <laughs> he goes it's even here worse. and yeah. then clicks it. Yeah. What am I going to do with yeah. that? Yeah. And then he asks you to go pick him up. I'm like, wait a minute. This is, this this is preposterous. Is terrible. He does like jewel pickup. And then I have to go and get them my card. He's like, well, I bought you flowers with your money. But you had to go pick him up. With your, it's with under the name Dario. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Make it personal. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, the name of that church was Assumption. Now, here's the mm. thing with that. Here's the thing with that. Uh, it had a mandate that all the Italians from Lake Michigan all the way to um, the Mississippi River had to go to that church. <laughs> had to go to that Yeah, church? it was a mandate. Um, it was a mandate. Who was is, enforcing the mandate? Uh, God? I don't... The Italian Romans. Uh, they, they were. Classic they were Italians. You know? Um, but in true enforcing Chicago things. fashion, we were like, no. No. <laughs> No. no. So what do we start doing? Start building more churches. Yeah. I'd be like, here, church across the street. I'm going there. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck you. It's literally what, what they wow. did. Wow. Yeah. That's, that Saucy. would be the energy that I would bring. Wow. That's literally yes. what they did. They there built other parishes. and Some energy. <laughs> That's how we do it. I would also wow. film myself in the church and then send it to them. <laughs> you would you would do that? They had film like this. You would. That's fine. I'd That's like fine. to get a whatever. copy of that. <laughs> whatever, whatever you need to do. The, those are the fun facts that I have. Wow. That's the history. That of, was a lot of fun facts. You know what? You crushed it. I did. Holy you know, cow! You know? No, I'm not gonna do it. No, you get no more coins. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. You get no like, more coins until yeah. Sarah gets coins. Thank you. She, she you know Sarah what? gets coins. What do you? Th- Let's go back and listen to every single episode. That's your task yeah. for this week. Listen to every single episode and find all the yeah. coins that I've ever gotten. I want you to put together a tally sheet of times you gave yourself coins, you know, or yeah. gas coins, Here's and then the, Sarah coins. It's, it's, y'all, Honestly, it, it's sad. I didn't give myself coins for like the first fifty episodes. They're that so is gonna, not they're true. They're so gonna break up tonight <laughs> <laughs> over a coin. Oh my god. I feel bad. Over that I was imaginary here. coin. Unpack I feel all so these. Bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, we're gonna go to break and then we're gonna uh, talk about some food. Uh we gonna t- hey. <laughs> we can talk about food. Let's uh let's get ready. <laughs> hey, welcome to this portion of this episode brought to you by Choose Chicago. Hey. <laughs> hey. Um where did we go this week? Uh Fadega. Fadega. Fa. Dega, like bodega, but they sell pho. <laughs> pho with a P H O. Correct. <laughs> As opposed to. It's one of them words that always trip your boy up. <laughs> Spelling um, B, I'd be like, pho. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, know you know what's really dope about this place is it's a play on word for the for the word bodega, right? And they actually, on their, on their when you're going in, it says things we do sell, lighters. Batteries. And they actually have paper towels. You can wow. buy that in store. Wow. It's this really cool shop. Um, you can get these items, obviously not in large quantities, but um, their food is incredible. Yeah, the food And they was have magic. two locations, one in Wicker Park and one in Pilsen. Um, what did we have today? Do you remember? We had one of the best uh, sandwiches. F- sandwiches ever. How would you describe it? Uh, I would describe it as like uh, an Italian beef. I was just going to say that. But, like, the meat is a little bit different. But right. the flavor is out of this world, y'all. Yeah. I'm yep. telling you. It, honestly, it's a smaller sandwich. Right. And uh, if you are hungry, don't share. 
Because <laughs> <laughs> this, this thing is really good. It comes with like a little yeah. dip. Yeah, it's called the Viet Dip. Uh, and it's their take on an Italian dip. dip. It's their take on the Italian dip. Okay. Uh, it's thinly sliced ribeye, cilantro, onions, jalapeno, and fresh bread with a side of pho jus. Oh, <laughs> not all jus. Uh, to dip but in. <laughs> yeah. And you can get it with fries for an extra $3. Um, they also have a spicy chicken banh mi, which is house marinated fried chicken, uh, hot sauce, cilantro, jalapenos, and a cucumber on French bread. Um we also got the combo, the yeah. chicken rice combo. That combo. Uh, which is half fried chicken and half... Regular chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Baked. Uh, it's chicken poached with ginger and scallions. Poached chicken. Yes. Interesting. With ginger and scallions. Okay. And it came with that broth with the yeah. ginger yeah, and yeah. The scallion broth. Very good. So good. Let me talk, let me talk about it. They, they now, here's the thing. The chicken, fried chicken was so good. It was so good. That they knew that they could sell the fried chicken skin yes. by itself. That's oh, how yeah. good this is. Oh, yeah. You could get the fried chicken, just yeah. the skin. Yeah, yeah. But... But get the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> we also tried uh, the combo egg rolls, which is you, you, we got two shrimp, two pork, um, mm. and it was really good. The shrimp is just one long shrimp. Yep, that's what she with, said. <laughs> <laughs> mm, I don't know. Um, <laughs> oxymoron. Um, <laughs> Maybe it's a... Um, anyway. What's the bigger shrimp? Oh. I forgot. It's a monster. <laughs> no, stop it. Anyway, the food. Uh, <laughs> the the, shrimp, was, <laughs> the um, shrimp was good. Yeah, and every uh, what we ordered, it came with three of their house sauces. They make a garlic ginger, um, a, a variation of a soy sauce, and then this like sweet and spicy uh, sauce. Yeah, uh, which... The food is so good, you don't even really need the sauces. The sauces... But it just elevates it, you yeah, know? Yeah, it does, but you don't need it. That's how good right, this food is. Right, It's so delicious. Um, yeah, their menu is pretty concise, which I love. You know you know me. <laughs> uh, each They have uh, three different fuzz, two, di- two different kinds of chicken rice or a combo, two and two sandwiches, and then, you know, five appetizers. Yeah, that's enough. Pretty straightforward. Pretty straightforward. I like yeah, it. Tastes good. It. Y'all check go it check out. it out. Uh, you said uh, Wicker, uh, Wicker Park. There's and- one in Wicker Park and one in uh, Pilsen. Okay. Uh, let me tell, give you that, that location. It's 1547 North Ashland Avenue or 1800 South Jefferson Street. Perfect. Y'all go check it out while I finish watching this Bears game. <laughs> and back to the episode. Peace. Welcome back. <laughs> That's the remix, y'all. <laughs> That song's gonna haunt my dreams. I love it. It's not even a song, it's like a 35 year old lady Uh, going. Yeah, I love it. With the jazz hands? Yeah, Yeah. it's like a Golden Girls transition (laughs) song. For sure, she has like lime green leggings on. Oh, wow. Jesus. I'm just saying. Now you're talking (laughs) talking my speed. That's your your vibe? Yeah. Everybody got a type? Everybody got a type? Trustless outfits. Listen. What do they say in the jungle? The uh, lion sleeps at night. The slower gazelle is the uh, hey. easier one to take down. Come on, hey, let's go. You're gonna cut that out, right? <laughs> no, no, we keep I it. Got it. Coins. Look at that. I got coins. He, he gets a coin for the rapey comment, and I get no coins. <laughs> Listen, for the record, and I'm telling you guys way too much. Uh, I think it was 2004, or 2005. There was a cougar. I kid you not, a, like an actual a animal, physical cougar that was in Roscoe Village. Okay. Really? It was, yeah, you can look it up. It was in the history. And so my immediate joke, because I'm a hacky uh, comedian myself, was I've taken down plenty of cougars in Roscoe Village. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it was such a delay. For those of you only listening to audio, I had to make Dario give me coins. At least you got a coin. Your boy was scratching his leg. Were you so horrified by that? Hold on. Our we got our, here. Yeah, we got our drinks here, y'all. Yeah. Like it's, you guys need them. I mean, oh, hold on. Just, <laughs> How dare you? All day. Getting turned up on the podcast? All right. Do you <laughs> remember what action, you ordered there, Funny Boy? Uh, shoot, what is this? The Manhattan, Kentucky? Something fisting something. Yeah. Our, <laughs> wow. Our guy, <laughs> uh, it's the Montucky Handshake. It's the Montucky Cold Snack Lager and one shot of green briar bourbon. Hey. Hey. And it is being expertly poured. Yeah, right now. From the perfect height. Yeah. <laughs> Into the pint glass. Oh my gosh! This is this is a marvelous. This guy thing. is amazing. Yeah, it, it, it really is. So, so you take the shot after? Or I can't look between? away. You can take it whenever. Oh, we're gonna do it boilermaker yeah, style. Yeah. We're Are you gonna drop it in, in there? No, I'm not. Oh, I'm about to say no, we ain't got enough no, space. No. <laughs> you drink down a little bit and then drop yeah, yeah. it in there. 
Oh, this oh is, my gosh. Uh, so this is the food portion. I like portion. this guy so much. Oh, yeah, this is, uh, welcome back to the food Thank portion you. of the episode. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. Like Tommy's drunk. Uh, what? I'm hitting How on our waiter. No, no, we hit. We, 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 we good. I almost said we, you. we hit. <laughs> You're the only one for me. Dario. <laughs> I mean, Sarah. Oh, <laughs> awkward. <laughs> don't, don't. I saw your hug outside. Nah, it's true. That was, was pretty special. It was a good hug. It's, it's a fun to see hug. Tommy again. I like my Dario time. <laughs> All right. Where were we? Anyway. Are we um, talking about history or are we going to jump into food? We're, we're going to jump into, into the food. food. Yeah. All right. Uh, so today we are at Chicago Q. Hey, I never heard of this place. Yeah. Hold on. Hey. Oh, cheers. Yeah. Let's get it. <laughs> Mm. Uh, which is a an upscale barbecue. Oh, oh he, he drank Hold the on. whole shot. Okay. Yeah. So Dario uh, jammed it down his uh, gullet like oh, a wow. frat boy. Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna savor this shot. Oh, yeah. I did not. That's okay. I, I'm I'm about to be lit on this one. Yeah, you are. <laughs> about to be. The only thing that makes I'm Dario drunk is shots. That's the only thing. And his own ego. <laughs> He's drunk on his own ego. Drunk on my own power. No. <laughs> that's oh. This little board. That's the oh. This board is. This yeah. board is power. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Right. Says, You're that guy who doesn't give up the TV remote, right? Oh. Are you I, like, I sleep with it in my hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She tries to pry your fingers off of it, and you're like, I'm watching that. <laughs> like, you're asleep. I'm not asleep. Sarah, no, I probably I'm fall asleep before eyes. I even re- realize what's going on. Yeah, but the things that are yours are yours. Oh. Yes. Here you we know go. what I mean? Do you have a room at home with oh, a yeah. lock on the door? No, like, no. Don't go in there. No luck, but I know better than to look through. It. These Just, people gonna you know think that I mean? I'm like As some kind of like. Get to know more about the serial killer. Oh, known as Dario. <laughs> no, Sarah and I are gonna have a whole He's new got podcast. Bodies. Like, and I'm the I'm the feature on yeah. there. Yeah, like Sarah and Tommy fell in love after Dario came out as a serial killer. I would listen to that podcast, right? Oh my god, that'd be horrible. I'm gonna start writing it today. <laughs> We just start a mock, a mock one. Just a mock, cast. mock nothing. <laughs> it is a straight up podcast. This is real, huh? Sorry, uh, where are we today, Sarah? Chicago Q. Chicago Q. There you go. Uh, thanks, Tommy. I gave you coins, baby. Thank, thank you. There you go. Uh, which is like an upscale barbecue uh, restaurant. Yeah. It's meant to. The vibe of it is meant to mimic like a. A nice southern restaurant. They exclusively play country music. So <laughs> exclusively. That's, that's your thing. <laughs> it's been like... My, my sister is like a country music person. Really? Summer? Isn't that weird? Summer? No, no, but here's why. She's a Gen Zer, and so for them, it's like alternative. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's wow. like the way Fall Out Boy was for my millennial generation. <laughs> this for is her, the second podcast like in a row we did. She thinks she's being edgy, but she's going to listen to this and she's going to fucking hate me. So to fill in people, Chicago Q is on uh, Dearborn, just south of Division, in near north. We're sitting in this gorgeous room with a skylight. Yes. I'm taking over your... your Please do. Wow. Way Um, different than Sarah was describing. Yeah. She just um, went yeah, off for about two yeah. minutes on her sister. Yeah, you were like, Chicago Q, I hate my sister. I'm like, jeez. That does not. I don't hate her, but I reached oh, the point there's where a it's butt. Like... Did you hear the butt? Let's talk about your sister's big butt. What about your sister do you not like? I've reached the point. Did she get more attention than you no. as a kid? Oh. No. I got, said, I got, she said that she said no so no. fast. No. I got the most attention out of my siblings. Yeah. I, could I was the this. oldest. Uh, my mom took my mom and my dad took pictures of me at every turn. Like I would turn my head, they would take a picture. Yeah. Like I was that classic that first child. kid. Yes, yes. Yeah. I played all the instruments. I played all the sports. All right, calm down. You know, <laughs> my sister basically raised herself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and this so, does not reflect well on your parents. <laughs> they were all about well, you. Well, my and dad they was dead, so. <laughs> Jeez. He couldn't do much. <laughs> Wait, where's wow. the where's the? Uh, yeah, I got wah, you. Wah. I know, I got you. Is there a, uh, hold on, hold on. Uh, this one. Bruh. <laughs> no, he yeah. wants that. Oh, I want like a. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Oh, now that's not appropriate for a dead dad. Oh gosh, I'm sorry. Jeez. I mean, it's fine. It's been forever. Um, oh, so it makes it easier. A You're little heartless. Oh a my little. god. So you hate your sister and you don't care that your dad is dead. <laughs> Wow. A, somehow we talk about food. There's uh, this portion. Chicago oh, yeah. Q yeah, yeah, yeah. is uh, so, just south of Division on Dearborn. And it's uh, they've been here for 10 years. They opened, well, a little over 10 years. They opened in 2010. 
and twelve to be exact. Twelve years. <laughs> And the uh, chef. Somebody's a math major. <laughs> okay. I, Jeez. I, I studied business. Yeah. You, you talking about me? Oh. <laughs> wow. We the ones drinking that, dude. Well, I'm, a little, I'm a little tipsy. Um, I just had literally just water and a Diet Coke. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and uh, the chef, Art Smith, if you don't know who he is, he is a judge on Pitmasters. Mm. He's been on Top Chef. <laughs> he is, he, I mean, he's done a bunch of shit. I think he has a James Beard. Oh, does he? Yeah, yeah. He's, he's a or very, at least a beard. Just, <laughs> it may not be a James Beard. It may be a regular. full on facial no, hair. No, I don't think he has a beard. Oh, no. Really? He's clean shaven, but yeah. has a James Beard. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hip to all your restaurant lingo. But I will make all my hacky middle aged dad jokes. <laughs> clean shaver. Keep it moving along. But it has a James Beard. That's a good one. Uh, That's a good one. No, don't ever repeat that. Jesus. It's I'm, on the internet. I'm embarrassed for myself. Somebody gonna run it back. Uh, Take the board and run with it. What do you what do you how well, would you so describe let me ask this you. place? Well, no, I think you did a, a great job. It's <laughs> it's I would say it's a little more upscale. Yeah, for sure. Um, I've never had a barbecue at uh, a place with this energy, right? Yep. And, and Dario rarely takes you to places with cloth napkins, what? so that had to be weird. Come on out, it's yeah. different. Yeah, the menu does not have pictures of the food on it, so that had to be weird. You were like, Dario, how do I know what I'm ordering? What are, what are hot links? Yeah, I have to read. <laughs> You I know can't me. just point at the picture and go. Ugh. That's the fanciness of it. I That's the read. fanciness. Fancicity. Um, this place has an outdoor like patio that do, is very unassuming. That is a barbecue. Yeah, it literally joint. looks not like. We pulled up. We pulled up, and uh, when we got out of the car, we walked. We were like, "Is this? Is this the spot?" We're I also not dressed like we should be here. I mean, I don't feel. I feel like this. Okay, is, for the record, we were until you spilled how much <laughs> sauce all over your no white one blouse. Saw it for the whole episode. Okay. Well, now I'm, I have I'm, to show. I'm sure Tommy is. I mean, uh, there it is. You guys can all picture it. Even the audio only picture. It looks like she it's was a involved in a mob killing. But he, it's because I tried <laughs> to eat some killing. of the beans and then they fell. It's the precisely floor. after yeah. she talked shit. Yeah, but you weren't <laughs> using a spoon. You tried to scoop it up with your hand. <laughs> no, I didn't. It was a fork. The bean juice dripped through your fingers. I would never. I would never. In my mind, you never you would, spill the beans. <laughs> in my mind, you would never spill the beans. Yeah. Oh, uh, <laughs> See, don't you don't get that. coins. Don't laugh at that. Just, no, I'm not. That wasn't even my joke. No, he it was horrible. Gave it to no, it was horrible. <laughs> it was, he was so excited to hit that rim shot. Joke. Yeah, yeah. He's so he excited. said the joke twice. I, I ignored it the first time, and then he, he said so it again, excited. and then gave you know himself what? that little. We gotta let him have. <laughs> you know, every once in a while. Um, let, let me do so it. So no, this is. Uh, I I gotta tell you, I I like this place quite a bit. Um, and yeah, I mean, I highly recommend it. Uh, Tell me what you thought of the uh, what? What was the sandwich you got, Dario? The pit. The pit. Uh, the pit. The pit. It, it comes. Yeah, yeah, it comes with uh, you know prime brisket, pulled mm-hmm. pork, hot link, uh, sauce, uh, slaw, and uh, mild sauce. Yeah. Let's talk about that hot link. Yeah, let's talk about the hot link. Holy cow! So it's y'all, hot. Yeah, it's, it's hot and it is very reminiscent of another famous hot link here, um, uh, Limbs Barbecue over there in Chatham, which we just featured last episode. Uh, very, very good hot link. And to the point, it made me question, I'm like, where did you make this? And they told us, the, the, our waiter told us that they make it here, which is an absolute, like, great thing that they do. If they really... Yeah. I, I thought I, you I were going to say it's an absolute lie. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I really did. I no, was like, oh, he's going to call I, him I out. I see the you, Lem's bag. You know, right stop it. Just stop <laughs> Stop. No, they did No, come on now. We, look, Rob is the manager. We talked. Uh, I don't want him to think that we, uh, no, no. we think they that actually, we are Actually, they, they do all the dry rubs here, all the smoking yeah. here. Everything yeah, is do. done here. Which is, which is so, so here's the thing. Here's the reason why it, like, it's shocking to me. Because like if you judge a book by its cover, you definitely would look at this place and be like, this is not about to be good. Yeah, yeah this is not going to be a good like, barbecue. And, like, it's not about to be sloppy. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. if I imagine barbecue, I'm thinking, like, I need, I need to get shit on my shirt. You yeah. know what I mean? Like yeah. that's you did. And you did. <laughs> I did. And, and you did, did a lot of it. Because I it's mean, that good. It's an embarrassing amount, quite frankly. <laughs> I think your dry cleaner is going to be angry with you. <laughs> 
for the mess that you made. So um, let me ask you this, Dario. Yes. Uh, the uh, the the brisket. Yeah. In your sandwich. How would you describe how it? Would you, how would you describe it? First of all, I want to. One t- word. I want to. I want. If listen, you had one word, <laughs> listener. Sarah, I, what do you think his one word I would be? Listen, no, no, mm-hmm. listener. I want That's you to know. Answer. I want you to know how big of a setup this is right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, want you, I want y'all to know that I, I do use the word tender. Y'all know this. Uh, because it's the only word that I <laughs> convey yeah. how that I feel. Gay me. In your, Those are the two yeah. adjectives yeah. relating to yeah. If it's bad, it's gay me. If it's good, it's tender. We're going to get him that word of the day uh, <laughs> calendar that he's always asked for. A tender. Y'all know what I mean by But he tender. only wants it to say tender every day. Yeah. Yeah. And then one day it's going to say gay me. Gay me. Yep. <laughs> one day of the week. It'll be a picture of a chicken. <laughs> A gay me chicken. <laughs> Listen, leave him alone. Look at this handsome guy. He doesn't Come need on. to know words. I, you know, he doesn't need he's words. He's too pretty. Yeah. Know, look, Go I'm on. that frat boy. So I'm the brisket. Know, the brisket was good. It was gay. It was tender. Oh, he almost <laughs> gave me. See, he's got two words in his. Uh, he's got two words locked and loaded at any time. <laughs> He's no, but sh- it was really good. Is. It was really good. Yeah. It was, you know, again, I, you know, judge a book by its cover. Yeah. And if you do that, you you will greatly miss out on this restaurant. Yeah. And you did, uh, so they gave us three sauces. Yes. So they gave us three sauces, which was uh, spicy, mustard, and then sweet, uh, like a sweet sauce. I had the sweet. They're on all that bar- first. barbecue. They're all barbecue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. all barbecue. Yeah. I had the sweet. You got the same thing, and, but you had the uh, hot sauce on there first. Yeah. And yeah. we questioned, this is what kind of spurred the conversation of, Where's this hot link from? <laughs> you know, like like this hot link is taken is taken over um, because yours was spicy. The sauce you had was spicy. The sauce I had was sweet, but we both were like, this hot link is pretty. Yeah, the hot link had yeah. a kick, yeah. and the spicy sauce like amped it up quite right. a bit. Where yes. I was like immediately sweating. Yeah, you um, pointed out too, though, that if you look at the the hot link. It had the the spice. You could see all the spice. Yeah, in the I cut it open. I was like, "Whoa, yeah. look at that!" And look, reason why we like laboring on this hot link is because it was that good. Like, yeah. it, it was it was honestly that good. And you, you y'all know y'all listen to this podcast. I Darn love the hot- sausage guys. <laughs> Here's your goddamn coin. Oh, <laughs> I thought he was going to go that, so she said. Uh, so to I have, tricked y'all. Right, so to have on this uh, sandwich the hot link on top of the pulled pork, brisket, the slaw, the mm-hmm. sauce. So- I mean. I thought it was going to be a lot, and it definitely was. It was. It That's was. what she said. <laughs> no. <laughs> that. But it wasn't, like, I had a bite of your sandwich, and mm-hmm. it was. I feel like the coleslaw is great because the hot link is spicy and then that's a little cool. The brisket is uh, tender and everything was just like it works together. I thought like it wouldn't mm-hmm. work yeah. all these different kinds of uh, you know, styles of meat. I didn't even really taste the coleslaw, if I'm being honest. Well, okay, to be fair, the coleslaw was um, s- smaller than I expected. Right. Yeah. It wasn't terrible. Right. And it was a little bit off to the side. They didn't put it on the top, which normally I appreciate. But yeah. I like a lot of slaw. Right, right. Um, sides. Yeah. Right. Uh, so, so every th- every sandwich you order comes with a f- with a a side. Yep. And you can get fries, coleslaw, cornbread, mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, fries. veggies, or an additional hot link. Um, and you got baked beans. I, the, with right? smoked brisket baked beans. So yeah, it also brisket. had it also had the uh the brisket in there, which yeah. was very good. Oh. Yeah, um, that was really good. Yeah, yeah, it's very good. The beans were like the sweet I don't know. You have barbecue, you gotta have baked beans. I'm sorry. It's just and if you're black, you gotta have uh, spaghetti. Oh, uh, don't I know it. <laughs> Do you? Don't I know it. Do you, you know yeah. it? You, you know, know it. Well, of course I know it, which is why I got fries. Uh, okay. <laughs> They don't have spaghetti here. But to be fair, <laughs> yeah. you got through your sandwich and you were like, I'm full. Yes. I can't even eat my beans. And I, I was right. like, right. you got three forms of meat on there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what she uh, said. And <laughs> you know. And I'm going to pull that button yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it was, it was it's so much after, you know, you eat it's, all, you go it through really that. It was really good. It was quite filling. Yeah, you, yeah. It's really hard to go through everything and finish it off, man. So, yeah. but me, not a bad, it's not a bad thing. Yeah. You know, because you get a sizable portion of yeah. your side. Like, Very and generous. That, and that sandwich yes. is, is $23 with the side. So that's It's like, worth it. To me, to me, yeah. that's worth it. I agree. Because I mean, you got a lot of fries. Wait you got a, a lot of macaroni did cheese. Did I say I was buying? You sure did. Um, what the? <laughs> and, and we about five shot cheese in. Oh, boy. This is expensive. Podcast. No, this, I think this was good. It's worth it. Oh, you, absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. is a great value. Yes. And drinks, Very. I mean, 
Let's talk drinks. Well, let's talk about Sarah's. Well, oh, I got sorry. the burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sarah. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. I got the Q burger, which is sliced brisket, yeah. cheddar, spring mix, caramelized onion, and then two patties. Yeah, like, right. Like there's a br- layer of yeah. brisket, two patties, uh, cheese, spring mix, and I'm getting hungry caramelized again. again. Right? It was. I, I literally had three bites of that burger, yeah, yeah. and I couldn't. Keep oh going. no! I well, was also because the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> is that weird? Bruh. <laughs> That's what it is. Um, I, it's also because, because uh, they brought chips and pickles uh, to yeah. start off, which they're homemade pi- pickles and homemade chips. Homemade and, pickles? Yeah, those pickles that we had in the beginning. Yeah. Those are I don't know who's pickles. home, but they yeah, right. were great. Somebody's Wait, home. Wait, yeah. who home? Art. <laughs> Art. <laughs> Art. <laughs> it might have been Art's, right? <laughs> Art's making pickles in the make, back. How do you, like, home make a pickle? You take how a do, cucumber? How do you think pickles are made? Yeah. How it comes with cucumber. Are? Yeah, but who right. make like what do you think, do you think they're, they're only, only made, made in factories? factories? <laughs> look at y'all, look at y'all. Wow, at the same time. <laughs> twinsies. Then, what I like honestly, I you know, I guess I never heard homemade. I mean it's homemade. just vinegar. Okay. And then like pickling spices, like yeah. whatever mustard seed. I mean, or you say that dill. as if we are not seventy nine episodes in and and, and I, mean, I am a cook. <laughs> yeah, but like, I, I, but like right. But you said, but this is common knowledge. I mean, I <laughs> thought it was. What happened to him? <laughs> Did really? I thought it was. Look, I cannot be the only one out there that be like, oh, I, that's how you make a pickle. All right, you know what? For the record, Sarah has nailed how to make a pickle. <laughs> I, mean, I can think I've of at made least pickles. There are some in the fridge that I've I know. made. Oh. <laughs> what? I mean, really? Yes. <laughs> There's carrot pickles, onion pickles. This is weird to find about pickles. this on podcast. Right Do you now. not go in your own fridge? <laughs> he does not. I, I don't. You know what? He will go in the fr- if it's not immediately. Let's in talk front about of him. Dario. You can go, Dario. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not immediately in front of him, he does not see it. Right. It so he just thinks be... that any pickle has the word cloth. First of all, in I'm nearby. not going to let you take this man uh, take me down as a man. I'm not taking you down as a <laughs> no. man. No. I'm stating fact that yeah. this is, y'all. This is true. Anyway, you can make. I feel like it's also. So, um, and these these pickles were made probably in here in house. the restaurant quite easily, and they were delightful. Probably, probably, they were they were fantastic. Yeah, yeah. They were. And you're not even a pickle guy. You no, said I'm not, earlier. I'm not. I'm, yeah. I'm not. Not since yeah. you know the fourth grade. It was. They're really good. They're like sweet. <laughs> they're very sweet. They're not like they're sliced into like dill pickle. Li- no, they're not. I don't think they're dill. I, th- I don't they, know what they I th- were. I feel like they were dill pickle. Oh, I, that all I of a sudden, know. he's a pickle expert. In the last thirty now, seconds, he's now like, he knows what "Let a me dill step is. in. Okay. I'm going to tell like, you about pickles." I think it's a, it's a uh, dill. It have been a gherkin at one point. <laughs> like, oh, really? Okay, Dario. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, um. the pickle king of Chicago has stepped into Chicago Q. <laughs> Jesus, come on, Dario. I mean, stay in your lane. I will. Anyway. T- tender. <laughs> stay in your tender lane. Oh, that's the name of uh, a movie you made in the nineties. <laughs> Tender Lane. You're all male cast. Um, so, what was your side? I, was say, I got the mac and cheese. And and how was it? It was really good. You it barely got to it. I, I barely yeah. got to it. And, and then I don't you were talk gonna about the rest. you were gonna take I it home, and then what stuff. happened? <laughs> I knew he was going to go there. I, know I knew he was, was going to. <laughs> I knew he was going to do it. He doesn't even know what my side is if it weren't for that part of the story. Oh, you know what? It's probably true. <laughs> um, okay, if they didn't have mac and cheese. Oh, so for the record, hold on. We didn't even talk yeah. about this. Yeah, yeah. Dari and I were going to split a starter. Mm-hmm. It was going to be mm-hmm. the Creole fried alligator well, yeah. with a Creole remoulade. Let me and just... I was so excited. Uh, yeah. Right. And we said it to our guy, and he we're went, all out. Ah, we're out of alligator. Oh. I feel like you just opened. How are you? I mean, I feel like alligator season? season was probably booming. It was hot this season. I, was it? You know Florida, what? I, Florida. I, don't, I don't know when alligator season is. <laughs> it's, it's probably now. Do Swamp. they die? Yeah. Swamp. I mean, think about it. Florida. Where you get alligator from? Got to be Florida. <laughs> Wasn't there one in like the pond in, in like that was a uh, chance to snapper? Yeah, Hyde Park, <laughs> Park. Uh, Humble Park. Yeah, I, I hope they're not putting that <laughs> on the menu. I Humble think... Park alligators. I... Jeez, what? what just happened here? So anyway, I was a little disappointed. You'd about rather that, have a Florida but... alligator. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> With the oranges. You know why? Because they're more tender. <laughs> Hey, so there you go. There's hey. your callback. Thank you. That was good. Coins. That was wow. good. Wow. Coins. That was good. <laughs> I like coins. All right. Let's talk um, about drinks. Coin. Or <laughs> coin. <laughs> coin. It's amazing. That's not the song. Look at it. <laughs> Whatever the other. Let's do. talk about drinks. Yeah. Drink. Sarah, what did you have to drink? I had a diet coke with oh. gran- grenadine and a, and two cherries. Hey, oh, two, two cherries. Okay. Slow down, lady. <laughs> two cherries. 
Dario, what haven't you had? I feel like that'll be a smaller <laughs> list. Uh, well, um, let's see. Uh, <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to give you the sheet. Here's the thing. Here's, you so can work your way through. I can tell you, <laughs> it's, a, it's a lot. Here's what I did have, uh, Sazerac. So at first I was going, y'all know me. It's only two drinks I'm going to get here, right? It's either the old-fashioned or whatever oh, rendition they have yeah. here or the, sa- or the Sazerac. I started to order the old-fashioned, which is $18. I, I, I really don't understand why. Uh, it's because it's a 10 year well, bourbon. Right. I was going to say. Yeah, yeah, we they're using the fancy rare, bourbon. It's we an should. Eagle Rare 10 year bourbon. You know what? Next time we come back, I'm going to buy you that. They're, one. they're yeah. actually here. They're known for their bourbons and their whiskeys. They and have very uh, hard to find bourbons and whiskeys. They collect okay. them. That so, makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. So, so, which you can definitely tell in what we did have the Sazerac. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> there we go. Y'all Take drink up. Shot. Take a shot, y'all. Uh, <laughs> yeah, every every yeah. every time Dario burps on the podcast, yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. yeah. Got a <laughs> Take a shot. Uh, I love Sazerac, and this was very good. What do you think? Oh yes, I yeah. enjoyed it very much. Yeah, it was so yeah. for me. It, it was served in a coupe glass, yes. which was a uh, presentation was fantastic. I love that. Yeah. And immediately when it came to the table, Tommy and I both we like smelled it and was like, okay, the smell it's of that, it alone. It's that was just yeah, but like I feel like we've had I, I at least I've had Sazerac's before where you don't it does doesn't come off mm. that strong of a smell right off the top. I mean that one I smelled it from a distance. Yeah. I was like, holy what shit! As he was what? setting it down, it was like, oh, yeah, this yeah. is a little bit of heaven. Yes, it yeah. was. Which and also the cool thing is maybe it's a placebo. I don't know, Tommy, but uh, in the glass that it was served in, I felt like I got more Sazerac. I felt like it was more. Typically, it's served in a whiskey glass, and you don't get a lot of Sazerac mm. because it's that strong. Did you feel like it was a more? It was more, you got more volume. I boy, I don't know. It's a good question. It you know what? It is a good question. Yeah, yeah. Let me ponder. Okay, yeah. Think about that. I, you know, here's the thing. I feel like it was more. I feel like I got more Sazerac, which is which is something I like because you don't get a lot with Sazerac. You got to sip slow. That's the point of it. You know what I mean? Because it'll it'll hit you real hard, real quick. Would you say the word of the day is tender or Sazerac? Sazerac at this okay, point. Good. Yeah, Sazerac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the liquor start to kick in. He's doubled down. Here's the thing. Here's the yep. thing. Oh. Sarah's right. Here's a, <laughs> Sarah's right about the shots. Look it. Look it. Yeah. Sarah's shots right about the shots. <laughs> drunk. What was the second drink you had? Oh, I had the. Um, hold Man. on. It's called the Risky. Paloma, yeah, and uh, it's called the Risky Paloma. So normally a Paloma is tequila, grapefruit, a uh, little bit of lime, maybe mm. some simple syrup, mm-hmm. maybe not. Um, but this Paloma was made with the tin cup rye, yeah. which is why it's called the Risky uh, Paloma. Mm. Delightful. Really? Yeah. I think the grapefruit uh, flavor really came through. Now, yeah. you actually had a little taste <laughs> of it. Look, what, any- what did you think of it? Did you <laughs> immediately taste the grapefruit, or did you taste another wildly different <laughs> fruit? By now, y'all know that when Tommy when Tommy lobbed me up like that, you you know he you know he set me up for something. Set up, yeah. Look, I tasted a pineapple or peach. A peach. No, yeah, you were <laughs> like, you were ready. I, I taste, <laughs> yeah, we we're said yeah. peach. He's like, ah, oh, I taste peach. I'm like. Y'all Are you taste like crazy. <laughs> They're not even close. I taste the pizza. And you're y'all. a food guy. No, 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 what no. Sarah's the food. Not I'm a Chicago guy. historian. You've eaten enough to know the difference between a pizza. He's and never a pine- had a grapefruit. <laughs> <laughs> He's never actively had a grapefruit. What? I bet money on it. I, I don't know for a fact, but I would bet all the money in my bank account right now that he's never. Oh had my a gosh! Grapefruit. All right, it, let it, me ask you this: yeah. Have you ever seen a, a grapefruit spoon? <laughs> No. A grapefruit spoon? No, he's never seen a grapefruit spoon. I've never seen a grapefruit spoon. Well, to be fair, that's white people shit. Regular <laughs> people eat grapefruits like they're oranges. Okay, fair enough. I was eating grapefruits my whole life. I didn't know about you know a grapefruit what? spoon until I moved okay. here. So. That, is, that is fantastic. <laughs> For the record, my grandparents, who were Swedish, <laughs> there you go. had there you grapefruit go. spoons. I know. Yeah. They were the whitest they're people. They're like heirlooms. What, yeah, so yeah. what is it? What is it? So it's a serrated it, spoon. Yeah, it has serrated spoon. edges. On the spoon to the help spoon cut out like the sections of the grapefruit. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so. I think uh, I may be wrong. I feel like my grandparents used to like cut a grapefruit in half, and maybe they'd sprinkle sugar yes, on it or for something, sure. right? Yep. Mm-hmm. And then they would see she gets white people stuff, <laughs> uh, and then they would give us a, a, a spoon, and they'd be like, "Here's dessert," and I'd be like, <laughs> "Grandma, is, this is not this is, wait." So uh, they breakfast? just served. They, I don't remember. They, so they I just blocked served. it out. I had a lot of therapy. <laughs> Let me get this right. So they just served just the. Take a scoop of that. No, no, no. They would cut the grapefruit in half, hand you half a, half a grapefruit, 
oh. pour some sugar on top, and oh, then give you this grapefruit spoon, spoon with to it. Eat it. And you would, yeah, you would cut out the sections oh. of grapefruit. Like, hmm. <laughs> how big of a piece of this is how eating this half, half a, Exactly. <laughs> how big is a, how big is a grapefruit? Like. No, talking? no, smaller. It's, it's, it's like a little bit bigger than an orange. It's like. Have you big. never oh. been to a grocery store? He, no. Tell me. Wait a minute. <laughs> you don't know how big a grapefruit is? <laughs> what is going on? Am I being <laughs> punked? <laughs> no, you're not. I feel like. This is what? real life. No, no, no. I just, honestly, people, y'all know I always okay. take it to the people. It's bigger than an orange. Okay, there we go. Smaller than a bowling ball? I don't know. <laughs> like. Do you know Smaller what than a, a watermelon. Do you know what a, I know what a grapefruit listen, is. Listen, if you hear somebody say, I had a tumor <laughs> as big as a grapefruit. It's a big. It's, Thank you. It's a big tumor. It's, it, it's, it's like yellow on the outside, right? It's like a... It's like the a tumor? Be, it could yeah, be. Yeah. Or the grapefruit. No. <laughs> it could be green. It could be pink. It could be yellow. Really? Yeah. Uh, Really, I, I had no clue. I, again, this is all. This is this is what we do. This is why Sarah. Okay. This is our part. This Folks, is, we're gonna take a my, break now. We're gonna go to the local. <laughs> there's a Walgreens across the street. They probably have grapefruits. Yeah. It, really? Yeah. I, I, look, I, I couldn't. I mean, I could pick out a grapefruit. The things that don't interest him really don't interest. No, him no, no. no. I mean, <laughs> who's interested in grapefruits? No, exactly. I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, look, it is what it is. All it, right. What are we talking about? So the risky Paloma. <laughs> That does not taste like peaches. Did not taste like peaches. It was delightful. Tin cup rye, grapefruit, and lime. And you know what? It mm-hmm. was uh, delightful. Served in a Collins glass. Yeah. And uh, enjoyed it greatly. It was good. I yeah. did. I had a sip of it. It was yeah. very good. It yeah. was soon, soon as uh, you, we took a sip of it, regardless of the taste. It was very. It was mixed Refreshing, very well. Refreshing, right? Yeah. So here's the thing. Um, and we had. We'll talk about the last drink in, in a second here, but. Those drinks were mixed very well. Mm. Like the if we if we talk about like the nothing uh, sat at the bottom. Yeah, nothing sat at the bottom. Um, the the orange taste, uh, the orange peel of the uh, sazerac was you know infused. Yeah, it was really good. There you go. Look I'm the thesaurus. <laughs> coins. <laughs> wow, you see, got coins for the see, word here's, infused. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. She she tried to play. She know damn well I'd be giving her coins. No one's trying to play anything. <laughs> yeah, 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 look, you was. Uh, the, I'm uh, just a poor coinless. Get out of here, bra. girl from Georgia. <laughs> girl from immigrant. Girl from immigrant. <laughs> just a coinless immigrant. You saucy this episode. I like <laughs> with a dead dad and a Gen Z sister. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it anymore. Then she roasted her, the hell out of us. It was the two episodes in a row. It's all too soon. <laughs> What's funny soon. is we were we were in where were we in Jordan, yeah. and then all of a sudden, uh, she her sister, in case you don't know, they yes. went to Jordan and Egypt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah. got yeah. your world travelers. <laughs> Go on, sorry. We say her, her sister uh, texts her and is like, uh, "By the way, I just heard you talk shit about me on the podcast." Because I said, "I said there's only two people in life that Facetime me, and I absolutely fucking hate it, and they both know that I hate being Facetimed." It's my friend Aaron and my sister. <laughs> and so I said, oh, I feel bad because Aaron's about to hear this episode and be like, and, and I was like, but I've told her to her face that I don't like being FaceTimed. And so my sister says, and she's like, I don't appreciate that you don't think I'm going to listen to this episode. And I also don't appreciate that you said that you don't like me FaceTiming you. I was like, get off Wow. Phone. You doubly disappointed your sister. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. And your family is shrinking ever <laughs> since your dad died. So you better cherish her while you can. Tommy, Tommy oh making light of a oh situation. Oh, my gosh. Just- <laughs> I'm, you know what? I'm going straight to hell. And you know why? It's because of this third drink. This third drink. What is, what the, is third the third drink? drink? Uh, this third drink is called the... We already uh, talked about it. Yeah, yeah. When he brought it out. The Montucky handshake. Yeah, yeah, we did so talk about it. Yeah. 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 Um, the last thing we drunk. had was the carrot cake. Is. He doesn't even remember. Oh, the carrot cake. I forgot. The carrot cake. Uh, it was walnuts, cream cheese icing, and candied carrots on top. I've uh, never had candied carrots like that before. Candied little carrots. Yeah, it was delicious. Okay. They tried. Um, <laughs> it was really good. Dario's, Dario's never is, eaten a carrot Dario's before. I can, no, no, a candied carrot. You know, here's the funny thing. I, I eat carrots uh, because it helps out with eyesight. And if y'all know me, okay. that's, a, that's a myth. <laughs> no, well, it's a myth. Yeah. Okay, put it, me on. It's not necessarily a myth. It's that you would have to eat an absurd amount of carrots. Thank you. And oh, that really? would that would mess you up in different ways. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Your bowel you're, movements you're, be different. No, but your what? skin tone Jesus, would change. That got weird. Oh yeah, yeah you get. <laughs> I don't think his skin tone would change. Yes, it does. It, you, you turn. You, yes, you, it does. I feel like you. <laughs> He's gonna turn orange. No, not not. I mean, not Oopa, Dario. Oopa. Maybe you. Maybe I would turn orange. Maybe you. Yeah. 
Is that, a, a now, is that a truth? That's a that, myth. That is absolutely a truth. So, and really? here's yes. what I can tell you. So, when my when little I guy was you. born, I, I made all of his baby food because I was that dad. Yeah. And what I ended up doing was I ended up taking a lot of like carrots and butternut squash and I would. You turned your baby orange. I did. I <laughs> would hit them up with apples and what? I would. And, and I would. Yeah. And so that was kind of all I was feeding him. And he developed this kind of orange coloring. No. Wow. We took him to the doctor and they were like, uh, You feed him too many. Uh, what do you feed him? Yeah. Really? I was like, Well, butternut squash and carrots and look at me he's super dead and they were like yeah you gotta work in some green stuff because this kid's not looking good and I was like oh boy yeah but wouldn't it be like a nice tan for him no, Later it's, on like, in life? it's like a, it's like a Donald Trump orange. Yeah. Oh, like a, yeah. like a synthetic no, orange. No, I don't know who that is, but it <laughs> nah. was not a good look. But, <laughs> but yes, it was much more uh, like really. With, so with that's my a... youngest, who was very pale, uh, than it would be with Dario. Right. Really? Not, he's not pale at all. <laughs> if I t- if I if I start turning orange mixed with, it would be. Yeah. That'd be weird. That'd be a weird color. It'd be weird. I'd be I'd be maroon five. How would you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what? where you go. <laughs> I thought that was funny. <laughs> I'm not giving you coins. How do I take coins away? No, 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 no. Away, you laughed. You laughed. That's a coin. You know, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a it coin. caught me off guard. Jeez. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> yeah, food was come good. out here. Check it out. The carrot cake was amazing. <laughs> Yeah, the carrot cake was I gotta really tell you, good. Chicago Q, yeah, I mean, you, it's here, the place. It is. No, I was going. I was going to say, like, I'm honestly, dead serious. Yeah, like Chicago Q is a place I honestly never heard of until yeah. we knew we were coming here. Um, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. yeah. And, and I, mind you, we ordered like 1% of the menu. They have so many different options. They have a low and slow section that's all of... I you bet can you that's that. Oh, yeah. I bet you yeah. that's good. So you low can get slow. the... Um, <laughs> there's like combos, the Q3 combo, the Q2 to- combo that have chicken, pulled pork. We need to get the ribs. The grilled mm. chicken, ribs, um, pulled brisket. There's just so much. Baby back ribs, St. Louis... Some delightful salad choices for the people not then, into yeah. the tender brisket. Right. Also, and then entrees. Yeah, they do. Uh, I was looking at their uh, website uh, in Instagram. They have pretty good breakfast. Also, oh yeah, they what? have, a, they have yes. a, a brunch menu. Yes, mm-hmm. a very. There you go. Yeah, right over oh, our shoulder. I, I see here. Yeah, yeah. Prime yeah. Uh, prime brisket eggs Benedict. Yes, yes. yes. chicken eggs Benedict. Yeah. <gasps> Yes, yeah, so Gosh. this place, you really get it all. Chicken yeah. and waffle for and, all and, you white people <laughs> out there who like chicken and waffles? <laughs> Come on, Tommy. What? <laughs> you you um, know damn well. One, one more thing that I like <laughs> is that you can see into the kitchen. I love that. Yeah. I feel like that gives... You know, a little bit extra. Here's yeah, just because all the staff back there keeps checking you out. No <laughs> wonder you like it. So like, yeah, right, right. Yeah, oh maybe, my God. maybe I should sit angled differently. Yeah, here's what geez. I will. Here's what I say. I mean, Hello, though. boys. <laughs> here's what I will say about the staff, and the, you know, th- we say this all the time uh, that it happens to us when the staff is good, the food is even better. Yeah. And I feel like the staff here has been extremely nice to us. Very. Um, I mean, they let us sit here for like seven hours. Yeah, so you know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll pay. Uh, but <laughs> we'll, <laughs> I mean, we'll pay. Yes. We'll pay. But no, no. It's, Tommy. It's, yeah, yeah. T- got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's really cool because like you were talking about like, do we ask the people when we come? But we don't ask. Uh, we just kind of show up and then we tell them. We you don't know, tell we don't, them. No, no, no. We tell them who we are. You know yeah. what I mean? Like we, we tell them who we are and what we do and then that's when the ask comes. It's like, hey, do you like it? And you know, these restaurants can say no to us anytime they want to. Yeah. They, none have. None have said no. Um, and so they were no different here. And, yeah. they, and they've been very welcoming to us. They, they they did let us sit here for a few hours and, and record. And, and, and here's my thing. With most places... You go to a place, you want them to be attentive, but yeah. not like, hey, can I, you know, what can I, uh, and I can, just yeah. literally can you give me yes. a little room. Yes, breathing yes. room. But I've also have it, uh, had it happen quite a bit where they'll come around a lot early on and then they disappear. Yeah, yeah. they don't like, come back. Wait, what are you doing? Yeah, right. Like, where you we at? We could do another <laughs> round. You yeah. could, you know, like come back. Our guy was not too far away. When no. We were yeah. like, let's let's get another uh, yeah. Montucky handshake. Montucky handshake. Whatever silly yeah. this we got. Yeah, which so. is which is a play on the Chicago handshake. Oh, yeah, yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Right. Uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not going to do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't that's do it. Enough, that's that's no, I just want to know what the other buttons are. Uh, the don't other buttons them. are pretty for Don't push them. You know. There you go. Oh. Yeah, we should have did that for the uh, snack, but. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. There's. Oh, yeah. All right, all right. I mean, I've heard a lot of these. Oh, <laughs> see, no, no, no. He's the I'm not allowed to touch it. Yeah, no, no. Listen, <laughs> I mean, look, there's a lot of buttons yeah. that we don't use on Minority here. Minority female. Stop it. Stop. Sorry. Go on. <laughs> Immigrants. Oh boy. I mean, no. is really what yeah. it is. Yeah. There we go. Oh, there. That's 
too I much. I get that a lot, actually. <laughs> I get that, but not the time. But not during the podcast? <laughs> anyway. No, uh, well, <laughs> sometimes he'll have me sit, and then he'll pull the board out, and he'll be like, listen to this, and then he'll just play it. No, just, <laughs> that, that, would, wow. that would be intense. If Is that? <laughs> no, Tommy, do not he listen to this. He has it on his phone, and he just <laughs> plays I don't know what they're <laughs> lying about <laughs> or saying the truth. <laughs> Tommy, go on out. Tommy and Daddy are fighting. <laughs> At this point, probably, probably not. At, the, at not this daddy. point, not daddy with, with Sarah. But. At this point, the people know who the hell we are. They yeah, know yeah, it's yeah. A, they, they know there's probably some truth to this. I mean, <laughs> but do you know uh, what I do? You know what I do though? Mm-hmm. It's like I will tell Sarah the exact opposite. I won't tell her what's on there, and I'll be like, "Man, watch this, watch this." I'll be so excited to play the button, like when we were when we. <laughs> She laughing. While we were over there, I was so excited about these different buttons that I had specifically for our trip overseas. Uh, <laughs> and like when it played them, she had the most relaxed response. And I'm meanwhile, I'm like, oh, she gonna go crazy over this one. She gonna no, go crazy. Here's my mom says this. She's like, you don't, you're not as excited as he is. I was like, because he's at like a hundred, yeah, and I'm at like there's, a fifty. There's very few people that yeah. can match I the can, energy. I'm very excited, but this is me. Like this is I am. Super excited! I know. Right now. I can know see it in I mean? your eyes. Just, bro, I played this. Bruh. I played this, Bruh. and I was excited. <laughs> I was Bruh. excited for her. I was like, she gonna go crazy over this. I mean, I loved it. I loved it. That was a coin bag. I said, get you your hear, bag. You know what I mean? You I hit his base. You hit all that base. Fantastic. I mean, it was pretty good. It was pretty. Good. <laughs> sure. It was. It was great. I loved it. <laughs> Tommy is like. I'm, I'm sorry that I made you feel that I didn't appreciate your buttons, oh. but I loved them. Hey, look, Welcome okay. to couples therapy. <laughs> yeah, this is Here this is, 77 this is uh, an offline conversation. Oh, uh, Tommy, boy. where can people find you? Where can they follow you? Please uh, visit ChicagoHistoryPod.com. Hey. You can find the Chicago History Podcast on all of the streaming platforms for podcast enjoyment. Well, hey, that was a nice hey, radio voice. That well, was. Um, if you like this episode, send it to someone you like. Uh, make their day better. It was a, it was a long, <laughs> long, nice one. That's what she said. Um, if you did not like oh, this episode. Yeah. Blame Tommy. <laughs> blame Tommy. <laughs> and you're happy that my and dad died. That's oh, that would be, oh, that would be it. That would be the reason. There's come no other reason. Too soon. Come on. <laughs> He's been dead for 20 years. That's fine. <laughs> still too soon. Wow. Is your mom still single? Oh my goodness! She is. What? She is. Hey now, she is. We're probably about the same age, me and your mom. No, she's what probably is, older than you. What did you do to little girl? Anyway, anyway, <laughs> let's get out of here. <laughs> we out, bye. <laughs>